Alright, before this video gets started, uh, I just want to say uh, there's a couple different things in the video as far as speed and uh, settings and all that stuff, so feel free to click around the video. Um, yeah, alright, that's it. Enjoy the video. Alright, so hello, I am going to show you uh, a couple things about uh, Cura uh, using your longer LK1 how to set up a profile and uh, things about speed also um, let me show you here so here is your uh, longer slicer layer height 2 millimeter shell thickness is 8 um, Anyways, so your basic settings, fill density 25%, all this is the same, it says uh, 16 hours, 47 minutes. And it will take longer than that. I've noticed every print I've done so far on the longer slicer has come out longer. So with that out of the way, on Cura, it will actually come out longer than this also. Like this one says eight hours, 14 minutes. It will be longer, but it still will be shorter than using the longer slicer. So, Cura is better, and it's faster. Well, obviously, because it's faster, it's better. Uh, quality is still pretty good. Um, I'll show you comparison here shortly. Anyways, so setting up your profile, you're going to just log into Cura, set up account, whatever you want to do. Uh, just click Custom when you first set up your printer, and then you're going to go to Manage Printer. And then you're going to go to machine settings and then if you're using the longer lk1 you're going to type in uh width is going to be 300 your wide depth is going to be 300 your z is going to be 400 and you're going to go with a rectangular build plate and origin at center you're not going to click that because you don't have a round build plate and uh, you're going to go heated bed and you're going to go build vol uh heated build volume and then you're going to go for g code flavor is going to be marlin and then for your g-code here um i went ahead and just put 10 millimeters it does 15 to prime and extrude i mean you can keep it there or whatever you know i usually kind of extrude myself to make sure things work before i you know leave the print bed so whatever you want to do there and then um these up here the print settings don't mess with those those are completely fine just leave those uh as the custom was set and then your ng code um it says retract filament that seems good everything seems to work fine like this so I'll go ahead and leave that and then any other things uh you would like to change like maybe over here we've got uh shell thickness wall thickness eight you know everything's kind of standard uh just like your longer is set up for uh, one thing I did change that is kind of tricky to find because you kind of have to go through everything is um, build plate adhesion. If you go to settings down there, oh, build plate adhesion, here we are. Uh, it's, where was it at? Let me see here. A lot of stuff to go through on Cura, but uh, what did I select? Oh my god, I already forgot uh travel oh my gosh maybe i went too far uh build plate adhesion ah there we are okay so that's all i had to do skirt right here so um i just put mine on skirt because you can use brim you know if you're having trouble with it stick in go ahead and click brim uh you know what a raft is i'm sure if you have a longer lk1 and you used anything that was pre-installed on your sd card and um but yeah skirt's just gonna do a single line make sure everything's flowing good you, you know so you don't hear any clicking or whatever and you know get your print ready to go and then hopefully if it sticks good you walk away um all right so i'm gonna do some test prints and show you some differences between the prints of ultimate cura and the longer lk1 slicer so stay tuned for that shortly all right bye All right, so here we are with the two test prints. We have the longer LK1 slicer print, and then we have the Cura print. So uh, this one actually used a brim. 
but I figured out the time for that. So, um, as you can guess, uh, of course, the Cura printed faster by a whole minute and 40 seconds. And yeah, the longer came in behind. And I don't know if you can see any details other than there is a little skirt on here. This one with the skirt finished faster. That's pretty funny. Uh, this one does have like a mark on it. You see that from the actual nozzle? I don't know if that's just, you know, it could be random, whatever, you know, this one could have maybe had one, but this one seems really perfect. The Cura here. And as far as tolerances, they are both pretty much dead on. Yep, they fit pretty good. So other than um, the Cura actually finishing, so this was um, supposed to be a 12 minute print in Cura and a 16 minute print in, uh, I think it was, yeah, a 16 minute print in the longer slicer. And it wound up taking like 18 minutes for this one and uh, 15 minutes and a few seconds on this one. So um, I forget the exact numbers, but this one came in, like I said, um, over a minute faster. So better quality and everything. So definitely use Cura instead of the longer slicer. So, all right, um, back to the print bed. All right, welcome back. We are back at the print bed. We are gonna get this going on. I will leave a link to this pegboard. Uh, it's not mine, I did not create it. Uh, it's on Thingiverse. I will link it in the description box. And I am gonna give you guys a montage so you can see how it comes out. Uh, I do have ironing on, like I said, in Cura. And I think that is about it. So see you guys on the other side of this print slash vlog. All right, we are back at the print bed. And I'm gonna apply a little hairspray. I've got oil of Morocco. Yes, that should not hurt the print bed, I believe. That looks sufficient. <laughs> Woo, smells good in here. All right. So let's get this print going on. Uh, start printing, yes. And we are heating up, so I'll be right back. All right, let's get this print going on. So yeah, this is gonna be a build blog where I'm kinda decking out the print bed area the print closet so uh stay tuned we're gonna do more prints for the printer and maybe do some cool stuff and learn some cool stuff so
So, recording this, 8 hours, 42 minutes, 15 seconds. And I had it pumped up to 130%. So, not too bad at all. Finished 10, or what is it? How long did it take? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 42 minutes, it said 50 salt. 10 minutes early. It finished 10 minutes early after I pumped it out. Let's see the quality. That is pretty good quality. Look at that. That is so smooth. I'm excited. Okay. Can I get anything? Oh, I can get these off. Look at this. Oh, man. This peels right. Oh, my gosh. This whole thing just peels right off. Look at that. Oh, man. I can just take this print. Oh, my God. I love Cura now. Cura is my new favorite. Oh, look at that. And here's the back. Oh, the back's got all the little spots where it was zigging and zagging and doing its little, its little thing here. That's pretty good. That's a decent little pegboard. Um, let's get this guy installed. Uh, let's check out these little guys. These are the spacers. Look at that. So these are going to go behind it. So we can uh, put screws in it. And put it on the wall. So we're going to clean those bad boys up. Here's our um, uh, brim. Not skirt. A brim difference now we know and like I said that only took eight hours well in 42 minutes that's pretty here we go let me move this camera there we go that's pretty good oh man that's flexible oh man I like that look at that All right, let, let, I'm going to get some tools, drill some holes, and then we'll be right back and put this bad boy up. Now, we got to make a decision of where we're going to put it. Are we going to put it here? Now, remember, I'm getting new stuff. It's on the way. It's in the mail. It's just not here yet. So, we're upgrading together. So, maybe tools here or maybe tools right here. I'm thinking tools right here, honestly, because, like, it's completely out of the way. So, just like right here. And grab them and do work if I need to. Do whatever. So, yeah, I'm thinking right there. Alright. Let's get some tools and install this bad boy. Alright. Let's go ahead and give this guy a bronze coat. I don't have a play button, so... Maybe this will do. You think that's enough? I hope that's enough. We'll find out shortly. Remember, you gotta hit the screws too. All right, so I have a confession to make. I uh, went with the bronze. And then I decided to go with the spotted bronze instead. I don't know, I think it looks nicer. So um, I think that'll be a pretty cool tool space, definitely. I can do like Allen keys, I can do the uh, needle nose pliers, uh, calipers, you know, all that stuff. Maybe Allen keys up here and longer stuff on the bottom. We'll figure it out. Um, it's loose. I left it that way so I can show you guys how to install it. So let's see here if I can do that. So I've got a spacer which was printed and a screw which we painted and that goes in there, that goes in there, piece of cake, put my drill in there. My level. <laughs> Whoa. Yellow. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to raise it up apparently. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, too high, too high, too low. 
Oh, that's perfect. Right there. That's where I want it. So, I am going to go a little lower. And raise it up till it's level. Where is it level at? Uh, right there. My screw is about centered now. Right? Yes. It's still level. Raise it up a little bit. Can I push it? Oh, back it up. Raise it up a little bit. Boom. Oh, shit. Okay. Boom. Okay, so that's level. Now we have two more to do. Okay. <laughs> So, last two, and we'll get it up. So, um, spacer behind it. Get the screw in there. There it is. I'm just gonna start this one. Check my camera, make sure I haven't like destroyed it. Okay, so we're still good. And then I'm going to Put the uh, second, oh crap, I don't lose it. <laughs> second spacer behind there. I pre drilled the holes. I don't know if I showed that part. I don't remember. I don't think I did. I don't think I showed pre drilled the holes. It's just pre drilling holes, you know, everyone knows how to do it. I just pick nice spots. <laughs> Boom, nice and tight. Nice and tight. There she is. She's in. We have, oh my God, she is so in there. I love it. So, um, next video, we are going to um, hopefully put some Allen keys and stuff, little shelves on here. I got plenty of space between here and uh, the filament holder. Look at that. I got all this space. So, yeah, I can bring stuff out to here, you know, whatever. It's going to be good. It's gonna be good and tons of little spots so I can just whatever hopefully you guys like this paint job I don't know if I like it or not because it's like uh, bronze spotted look real close here yeah it looks pretty cool it's in between bronze and black so I don't know it looks better than just um, the printed PLA or whatever and it's PLA but man that's pretty hard you hear that that's thick and that's with the cura settings so like I showed you use the cura settings and this is pretty damn strong I'm pretty sure it's stronger than um, regular pegboard so yeah um, please hit me up with a like uh, thanks a lot for watching and we're gonna do more build vlogs to deck this area out so yeah stay tuned thanks a lot bye